All right, so, so far we've worked on our site and we've added uh, a couple posts and pages and talked about the menu. There's still a lot to learn, of course, but I don't want to have to start over again completely next time. I want to say what I've got so far and take it from here next time. So I've got a handout for you. Let me show you here. If you haven't gotten it yet, you want to go into computer window. You will go back to the network location. Classroom data, network location. Back to Campos WordPress 1. And I've got a new handout there for you. You can print it later, but I've got instruction number 4. Archiving WordPress. Drag that to your flash drive or your desktop, and you can print it later. I turn the printer off, but drag it. I'm going to drag mine to the desktop. We'll talk about it in general, and then we'll do it together. So did everyone get a chance to get that number four instruction? So I've got two big ideas here. Archiving your site, resurrecting your site. What we're going to do here is our site is made up of hundreds if not thousands, of separate pieces. When we did, at the beginning of the day, when we did that installation, and it said, please put in your password and your username and all of that, behind the scenes, it was creating a lot of files and folders and a big structure and connecting the database and all of that. And so, um, if we wanted to take the work home with us, we could not simply go to our C drive and go to our WAMP folder and go to our WW folder and take that WordPress. We could not do that. Even though that's even though that folder there seems complete, it's it's nearly 30 megabytes. It's 1,000. Oh, that's funny. It's literally 1,234 files. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's all of those files. That's the whole site. It seems, but it's not because there's still a lot of other files that might be in another folder. And also, the database would not be included if we just took that folder with us. So that's what instruction number four is all about. We're going to use a little piece of free software to make a perfect copy of the site, a backup, an archive of the site. We're going to make a perfect copy, which includes all of the pages we've made and posts, and all the users and passwords and products and sales, and the database, everything. And it's going to compact it into two files. One is a zip file, which you will not ever need to unzip yourself. We'll see about that. And an installer file, which are the instructions of how to bring it back to life. It's sort of like we're going to freeze dry it, compact it, freeze dry it, and then we need to reconstitute it later so we can actually uh, eat it. So we need to do part one here together. We're going to freeze the site. We're going to archive it. And then at home, you could try the second part, if you can, which is to bring the site back to life at home. If you can't do it at home, no problem. We're going to do it next time, because I don't want to start all over again. We're going to use this second part of the handout to bring the site back to life. What about the un uninstalled? Uninstalled? What do you, you want to un uninstall all of WAMP and such? No, this. The two files that we're going to copy is zip and install. Just delete them because they're two just they're, they're two regular files. So one PHP file, one zip file, just delete them. So what we need to do is we're going to use a plugin. We ha we'll have a deeper discussion of plugins later. But a plugin is a little piece of software that we add to WordPress to give it more features. Right now the built-in backup tool for WordPress is pretty lame honestly. So we need to get a better one. And there's many of them out there. Here's one I'm recommending. I've used it for years. It works great. It's free. And there's a paid version with more features that I like also. But we'll use the free one and we'll, we'll do this together. So go back, to, go back to your website. Go back to your dashboard. We're in the dashboard here. And um, Hover over Plugins and click Add New. Click Add New. Plugins Add New. 
We'll have a deeper discussion on this later. Don't worry what you see here. On the right side, click Search Plugins. And then type the keyword Duplicator. And press Enter. Type Duplicator, press Enter. You'll see in my case, I saw 1,284 results here. But the result that you should care about is one called Duplicator. It's from the publisher Life in the Grid. It's got five stars. Again, we'll talk about plugins in detail later. Just for the moment, make sure you found Duplicator that looks exactly like mine. If it looks different, it's not the right one. And then what you want to do is click Install Now. Let it install, and then we're going to use it. So I'm going to click Install Now. And when it's done, we want to click the button to activate. Don't forget to activate. I've got all of this in my notes, of course, here. In your WordPress, go to Plugins, Search Duplicator, click Install, click Activate. This connects back to the WordPress mothership, finds the plugin, and downloads it, installs it, but you have to remember to activate it or else it won't do anything. So click Activate Plugin. And under our installed plugins, it says it's there. But we've also got a brand new menu item. This is what plugins do. They give you new features. So you should see Duplicator. If you hover over Duplicator, select Packages. Click on Packages. The purpose of this plugin is to compact everything, your whole site, into a package. And my handout then says, okay, we'll go into uh, create new package name should list today's date in the near your site. You may change it. Okay, so at the top right click create new. We're going to create a brand new package. It's going to put, uh, it's going to check the server. It should say pass if it says fail. I'll help you in a moment. But this is going to check your site every single Thing seems to be okay. It passed. The name of the file will be this will be today's date, which you can change, but I recommend to leave it like that because it'll be marked with the name of your site and today's date. And you can make as many backups as you want. You might say, well, the date's backwards. Yes, but I do hope that you get into the habit of writing the dates backwards in in computers at least, because then this way it'll organize it for you. When you put this alphabetically, which is the default, it'll put all your 2016 files together, and then your April files, and then your April 11th files. If you change it like I normally write it in the real world, I would normally write this as 4 11 2016. But if you alphabetize that, the 4s will be mixed up into, the, into all of April, not into 2016. Do, do you get that? That the computer wants to alphabetize it, organize it, so it'll put 2016 together. If you do it this way, it'll put all Aprils together. April 2016, April 2012, April 2017. All 2016s will be organized together if you leave it like that. If you don't know what I mean, just put whatever, whatever you want. <laughs> but I'm going to leave the default here. The date, it'll put them all in order. We don't need to change anything else here. If you'd like, you can click on Notes, and you can add a note here. Just for practice, let's do that. I'm going to click Notes. This is just something for yourself, because you can make multiple backups. You're going to save them somewhere, like on my flash drive, and then when I want to bring, when I want to use one, I'm going to say, well, what did I do with this site here? Or what was this site about? Or what did I need to do? The reason I use Notes is like this. I say, um, added... Um, about page, pending, contact page, pending, set static home page, 
just notes. Whatever you did, what you're going to do. You can write as much as you want here, I think. That's you know literally what we did and what we need to do next time. You don't worry you don't need to worry about storage or anything else. Just click next. It's gonna scan the server, it's gonna scan localhost. This that we're doing can also apply to a real server. Once you get your Bluehost or your GoDaddy or whatever, this will apply here too because this is a way to make up a, a perfect copy of your site. Sometimes people come to this class, they want to learn WordPress because someone built them a WordPress. They can make a copy of their site like this and play with it in localhost and it will not change at all the real live one. That's how we do it for clients. We don't want to make changes to the real live version of the site. We can make a perfect copy with duplicator, download it onto our WAMP server and mess it up and break it, but that's not going to affect the live version. This checks the server. Everything should be good. If anything is not good, uh, you either have a warning or you have an error. If you have a warning, you can still proceed, but if you have an error, you're stuck. And it'll, it, you'll be able to open the box there to say, well, what's the error? Can I fix it? Hopefully everyone got good. If you didn't get it, I'll do lab time in a moment. Let me move on. But usually this works without a problem. If there are problems, it's often in the large files section. At a certain point, if your site is too big, it may take a long time to properly back up. And it'll tell you that file is 10 megabytes. If it's over, I think, 3 megabytes, it'll give you a warning. More large files that you have, the more it could slow down your site. And that's usually because you uploaded a big graphic. You don't want to take a photo with your nice you know, Canon camera and upload the photo as is. That's a huge raw file that will slow down your site. That's a discussion we'll have a little bit later, but oftentimes an error is, on, is you've got too many large files. I'm going to click Build. It'll process it for a little bit depending on the complexity of your site. It may go quickly or slowly. Mine's done already in 6.71 seconds. Let me see my instructions. So, uh, click next in the scan <coughs> completion build at the bottom. If your scan failed, read the notes. After the build is complete, you will get two files installer and archive. Click to download installer and archive. One is called installer.php and contains the instructions to resurrect your site. The other might be called, you know, some gibberish name, .zip, and contains all the media pages, everything. Do not unzip this file. Uh, we're going to download those files. We're going to put them into a folder with today's date, and there's our perfect copy of our site. So here, we have the installer file. Click on it. Depending on your browser, it may simply automatically download or it may ask you, would you like to open it or save it? We want to save it. And we want to do the same thing for the archive. Click that archive button. Again, it'll either do it automatically or it'll say, would you like to open it or save it? Click save it. Yes? You don't want to open it. You want to save it. Show in folder, open on the Show in folder. Click show in folder. Yeah, depending on your browser, it may ask you or it may just do it. In my case, I'm in Firefox, it asks me. If you're in Chrome, it'll just probably do it. And you'll see on the bottom left corner. I'm in Firefox. Yes. Okay, uh, I'll help you just one moment. Uh, I'm in Firefox and it downloaded. And on the top right corner in Firefox, there's a little blue arrow. You know, this it, tell, it told me it downloaded. If I click there, it showed that I download the ins downloaded the installer and the zip file. If you're in Chrome, you're going to see it on the bottom left corner. You're going to see the zip file and the installer. But here in Firefox, I downloaded both of these. I want to click on the, on the folder on the right side, not the zip folder. 
on one of these two, click the little folder on the right, which is basically show in folder, show me where you saved it, probably the desktop. Click on the little folder there, it pops open, it's on the desktop right there, installer. You don't need to unzip these, you don't need to double click them. There's a zip file, there's the installer file. If your icons are different, don't worry. Those two files, this zip file is the perfect copy of your site, and these are instructions to bring it back to life. Next time together, we will look at the second part of my instructions, which, which tell us what to do with them. If you'd like to try this at home, try it. That's my instructions right there. But for the moment, we've made a perfect copy of our site, and what I want to do is take it with me on my flash drive, so I'm going to create a new folder, put today's date, and I will move the zip file and the installer file into the new folder. Drop that into my flash drive, and I've got a copy of my site. I will click New Folder, call it today's date, and again, I'm thinking like a computer, so I'm going to be 2016-04-11, but you can call it April 4th, sure, but then April will appear before January, alphabetical, A before J, so 2016 -411. and then I'm going to move the zip file and the installer into that folder, and I will move that folder into my flash drive. Actually, what I do at the end of the day is I also put a copy of my site, how I ended up with it, into the network folder. I'm going to do that right now. In the network folder, I'm adding a brand new folder called 2016.04.11, and that's a perfect copy of the site that I ended up with, if you want a copy of mine too. That's the first part of this handout, making the archive. Next time together, we will do the second part, resurrecting, or you can try it at home. I'm going to end the main lecture at this point just to make sure everyone was able to make a copy to answer individual questions and such. But any general questions at this point? Yes? I found the installer backup file on the right hand side where we click and I got in the left hand side. I'll have to see your screen. I don't mean I don't know what you mean about left hand side and right hand side, so I'll be there in just a little bit. Uh, any general questions? Okay, so uh, when we come back next time, we'll keep following the uh, syllabus and we'll add more stuff and uh, resurrect the site and all of that.